Hi guys, I make candles for a living. I started my small business with my husband in September last year after our wedding which we made the candles for initially and they went down so well we decided to start a business doing it. We only use 100% soy wax in our candles which means they're safer for you as they don't contain any parabens or nasties and they're better for your home as you won't get any sooty marks on your walls like you might with paraffin candles. They're also 100% biodegradable and burn cleaner for longer. We use 8% fragrance oil in our candles compared to the industry standard of 3 to 5 so you get a lot of bang for your buck. And they come packaged in these rustic little glass jam jars which are of course fully recyclable or you could reuse them for trinkets or even flowers. When I first launched my business, even some of my closest friends had nothing to say. They didn't necessarily support me, meaning like or share my content or even ask me how it was going with the brand. They just kind of, you know, stayed silent. And at first I took offense to it, but then I quickly realized it is normal human behavior. They had never seen someone try to accomplish something so ambitious. It was just easier for them to stay quiet and hope that it wouldn't go anywhere significant. And then I started to not take it personal. I just kept going and going. And if this happens to you, you'll find that you will meet people and friends that get it, that know where you're coming from, that believe in you, that want to help, ones that cheer you on. And trust me, when it comes, friends like that, you grow with them, you evolve with them. Hey darlings, it's Nat from Drawling Authority and I just moved to Orlando, Florida. This is what my space looks like right now, but it definitely needs more work. But let's pack some orders. This girl ordered our gorgeous orange satin top and our pink tie top. So I head over to my shipping station and grab everything I need. I start with this AirPod sticker. She's my friend and I know she has AirPods, so I hope she likes it. Then I grab a poly mailer and all my other materials. So a business card, a sticker, and these two postcards that I designed myself. After that, I also grab a matching scrunchie, which I thought this orange wood would be perfect with that top. Then I grab some tissue paper and head over to my cool little coffee table that pops up like this, put all the clothing in the center and fold up the sides. I put the scrunchie on top of the clothes and then wrap everything together with a sticker. I put the postcards with the order and then grab my poly mailer. These new poly mailers are 100% recyclable and reusable for returns, so they're really awesome. Put all the items inside and then weigh them to get an accurate shipping label. I then print my shipping label, put it on the package, and we're done. It's Bella from Balexi Shop and I want to do a video to clear some things up that I see in our comment section and in other videos that people have tagged us in. Our store is currently sold out but we restock every Friday at 3pm Eastern Time unless we say otherwise in our Instagram which is in our bio. We don't buy from mass production websites like AliExpress, Romwe, or Sheen. Although some of our charms may look similar, we make some of our charms with resin and when we don't make at home, we purchase from either local or small charm businesses and make them into various accessories ourselves. A lot of people have tried to accuse us of this without asking us up front and continue to spread false information, even creating whole accounts dedicated to bringing us down and we wanted to clear the air so people know it isn't true. We shouldn't have to justify our shop like this, but I thought I would make it clear so we don't run into this problem again. When you buy from us, you're buying earrings made by two teenage sisters who shop small and locally for all their supplies. We have hypoallergenic hooks and offer clip-on alternatives for most of our earrings. Thank you guys so much for your overwhelming support and we love each and every one of you. So I was told that I was overpricing my cups. Let me break it down for you. You're not, you're not only paying for your cup, you're also paying for the supplies that I use to make your perfect cup, including a good quality tumbler.
piece Listen up, punks. If I'm on your For You page, <laughs> it's a mistake. Um, I don't know how I got there, to be honest. I think I've gotten a total of seven likes on my videos. So if for some reason I made it and you're seeing this, just drop a heart, man. I worked hard. All right, business owners, show us where your packaging stuff is from. Let's help people out. Some people are starting off the way we were starting off at one point. So let's show them in the right direction. Show them where you get your packaging stuff from and show some love. Today is the day I've been waiting for. My pre-order bulk delivery arrived. Yay! I opened and checked the stock, then prepared the postage satchels with my from stickers. The first thing I started packaging was the Collins Street jumper. I had over a hundred pre-orders for this and every single customer gets a handwritten note and voucher from me. My boyfriend organized the jumpers on the couch in sizing order and we got a good system going to pack up fast. Oh my gosh, look at them all. His mum and sister then arrived to help with the swimwear pre-orders. We all had different jobs and smashed them out. After two hours together, we started to get a bit giggly and delirious, so took a pizza break and switched on the footy. We then kept packaging for three hours. There are still days and weeks where I make no sales, so this was a dream come true. Thanks, everyone. Hi, I just really quick wanted to make a video thanking you guys so, so much for all the support on our last video. We've had our shop since October and our last video blew up and completely sold out our shop almost. There's still a couple things left, but it means so much to us and we're doing our best to get out the orders as soon as we can. Hopefully we'll have them all shipped out by um, the end of this week. So if you ordered something, hopefully we're trying to get it out by this week. We plan on restocking the shop as soon as we can. So be on the lookout, but in the meantime, here's a look at some of the earrings that we have and want to start selling soon and we want to start doing custom soon too so if you guys are interested in that um leave a like leave a follow and thank you guys so much it means the world to us everybody has that one thing in their house that everybody thinks is so cool could be a hidden cabinet little movie room gadget but ours is this